Hi guys, it's Galia here. I just wanted to quickly show you my journal because I've had a few questions about what I'm working in um, in the ongoing retreat and um, in other places as well. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you. Um, this is the last journal spread I did on the weekend. This is my journal, my current journal. It is um, one I made myself very sloppily you can see there's no sort of worrying about technique or making it perfect it's just um, somewhere to work within and the less precious it is the less precious I feel about my work um, I guess and I like the roughness of it um, I tend to um, do a different style each time I make them I haven't sort of fallen on one style of binding that I prefer uh, in this one I got caught in um, making it too tight I forget that it's going to explode I mean this has only got uh, it's maybe about half full and it's already bulging at the seams so you know if you make your own give yourself some leeway in that spine just for movement <clears throat> I haven't done the cover yet I'm thinking um, I was thinking I would put encaustics on the on the cover but um, probably not if it's exploding so much Inside, I just um, see that's just cardboard, and I've just gessoed it ready to to do something with it down the track. Inside, I just use whatever papers I can find. It doesn't matter if they're torn. It doesn't matter if they are. Let's just move down here a bit so you can see some different papers. See, I had some of this really thin, flimsy black paint paper. Um, some of this water, this paper. I'm not even sure what it is. It's, it's not thick, it's not thin. And then I've got this other paper which is thicker. Um, and I just mix it up in the journal. Um, because I tend to put a few layers of um, collaging down quite often. And if it's really beautiful watercolor paper, um, then I'm going to feel precious about not using the paper to its beautiful watercolor abilities. So if I use um, paper like this, it's really thin, I'm not shy about slathering a couple of coats of gesso on it and then a few pages of, you know, I can put some collage, I can put acrylic paints, I can layer it without feeling like I've wasted this beautiful paper underneath. And then what tends to happen is I, um, when I'm wanting to do a page, I go through and I kind of feel the paper and I'll feel into the paper itself. Um, and that can help me decide um, what I'm going to do on the page. Like this page here had some some of that thicker paper and I really wanted to play with a bit of how that paper itself absorbed the medium. So I didn't gesso it to start with. Um, other pages were thinner and I've just I've started with collage paper and so on. Um, the black background can sort of influence what I end up doing. Um, so it's just a real mix, a sort of come and feel. This one was a white page and a black page and that kind of um, spoke to the final design of this sort of the two versions, the sort of solar and lunar aspects of this page. Um, this one here that I've just did last, I don't know if you can see that, it's got holes, you can see right through um, the book and that really um, fed into the story of the art uh, of Artemis and her lost history or her um, well not so much lost but not so well known history of her pre-Hellenic origins as a tree goddess and as the great um, mother and then how she then lived on in in Mary um, and how history gets passed down and and the gaps in the stories that was it was really that sort of that fed into um, the page I could have covered it like I do in other pages but it sort of the paper and the handmade um, particularities of the paper itself can inform the journaling experience for me so that's it I just wanted to show that um, to those of you who are wondering and make some journals um, it's not hard 
there's videos on YouTube um, I'll be doing a little bit of book binding in an upcoming workshop um, but that's not for a little bit and you can have a look online on my YouTube channel there's um, my Parisian and London travel journal that's another one that I made myself um, for that trip and it's very different so have a look at that and um, give it a go I do tend to use just sketchbooks for um, sketching um, so this one here is a mole scan um, and that's from in the garden so I use that for for that sort of work but for art journaling which is a different experience for me than sketching um, I really like to make my own books and to have that different paper in there. Alright, bye guys.